What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I got a brand new build here. This is a brand new marble run from Roker. This one's called the Marble Spaceport. Right there. This one just came out today. Well, when you see the video, it would have come out yesterday. It came out on the 30th, April 30th. And uh, yeah, man, this one looks pretty cool. Now Roker sent me this to build and review on my channel. So if you guys are interested in building this yourself, I will leave a link to the product in the description down below. So without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get up top and get this thing open. All right, guys, here we are. This is, again, this is the brand new Marble Run from Roker Marble Spaceport. Uh, what a cool looking Marble Run model this is. This is both manual and electric mode. So it has a USB type C connector, which is fantastic. I mean, usually these things have like a, just a regular standard USB or a USB mic mini or micro, whatever they used to call it. Uh, this has the type C, which is pretty cool. You will have to supply your own cord though, which if you're like most people, you have a, about 150 of those laying around the house. It has 10 still balls in it. Take a look at the back of it. Mine did come just a little, little dented, but uh, that's okay. It should be all right. Yeah, I mean, this is a uh, model for ages 14 and up. It is a level four out of five. It has 472 pieces. And I believe they said the build time is five and a half hours on this. Uh, I will let you know at the end of the video exactly how long it took me to build it. So let's go ahead and flip it back around. And let's get a look at what's inside. All right, guys, here's all of our wooden sheets here that have all the pieces on it right there it's gonna have a big glare on it and here's our instruction manual here roker's instructions are usually pretty darn good so i'm not too worried about that and uh yeah here's a, the rest of our pieces some clear acrylic pieces look like ramp pieces here uh not really sure what this is but we got that piece we've got the um motor here for the automatic running this is the usb type c connection right here and over here we got marbles we have two different sizes of marbles that's different we have smaller ones and bigger ones huh uh we have a uh little tool kit as usual here with a couple of screwdrivers and the little clippers uh, here's some more parts and pieces it looks like for the uh the turn handle if you're going to be doing it manually uh screws things like that and a sanding stick yeah, let's go ahead and get this out of the way and get started. All right, so just real quick before we get into this, I never noticed this on any of their other models. It has a perforated line here on the parts page. So that makes it easier for you to just take the parts page out and uh, keep it to the side so you don't have to keep flipping back to the parts list to make sure you're getting the right pieces. So I think that's kind of cool. That's pretty neat. I didn't. I haven't noticed that on their other ones. Uh, maybe it was there and I just never noticed. But uh, I just wanted to point that out.
guys, we are all done with Roker's new marble run called Marble Spaceport. Here it is right here. This is the box. Let's pull it up so you can get a look at it here. And then we will uh we'll operate it and show you how everything works on it. Da, 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 da. Here it is, guys. Pretty cool, man. I really like this one a lot. Give a shot all the way around it so you can kind of see all the nooks and crannies of the build. I love all the clear pieces that look like windows. I can see why they call this one Spaceport. Pretty neat, man. Before I get into my thoughts of the build and anything that I think that could have been done better on it, let's go ahead and operate it and see how it works. All right, guys, I think I got it all in the camera here. So this operates two different ways. Of course, you can use it, turn it by hand like this. And the marbles climb up. There it goes. So you got different paths that it can take. It can either go down here or it can go this way. And then when it gets over here, it can either go the lower ramp or it can go the upper ramp. And then here it can either go this ramp or it can go down this ramp. So it's got a lot of different things going on. The mechanisms uh, that operate everything are pretty intricate and uh, pretty fascinating really to watch them go. It generally works the way it's supposed to, but every now and then, like any of these kind of mazes, because there's so many different working parts on it, uh, things can hang up here and there, and it's, that's just gonna happen. All right, now this also does operate with USB type C, and the way that works is you spin it around here, here's the motor, and right here, uh, there's a notch in this wooden piece that is the same shape as the plastic piece on here, so it fits into it. And then this is what turns the whole thing. So let me see if I can get that plugged in. All right, I got a longer cord here. See if I can get this hooked up. All right, let's get this put in the way it's supposed to so it locks in. Okay, just get it pushed all the way in, get it lined up. And now when I plug it in, the whole thing will run wirelessly, or run hands-free, I should say. There we go. Now you gotta keep an eye on it because it runs so fast that things will start to bunch up sometimes here and there. So you gotta watch it. Also, every now and then a marble might get hung up in here and it'll just stop the operation. Uh, right now it's running pretty good though. Yep, see now a marble got hung up in here somewhere. So if that happens, you gotta unplug it and then you can kind of mess with it a little bit. All right, so I'm going to pull the motor back out. There. Now we got it hung up. So that'll happen sometimes. Uh, a marble will get kind of hung up in here because it's going so fast. And then it'll stop. So you're going to have to pull the motor back out to get it started again. I think that the motor is too fast. I will say that the motor, though, is extremely quiet. You can't hear it at all. It's whisper quiet. But um, it just runs so fast, as you were seeing, just how fast this thing was going with the motor. Sometimes things will hang up because the, mar the marbles are going too quickly. So if I had anything to say on that, it would be put a slower motor in it. Also, I would put a on-off switch on here. Uh, no on-off switch. But uh, I would really rather just run it manually myself. So it's kind of nice that you have that option to run it either way. To me, that's it's just more fun just to run it manually. And it's more engaging. When you're running it with the motor, you're really just watching it. And you can control it better. You have a better control if you're running it manually. Pretty cool. It would be neat to put some LEDs on this, I think. Light up all these clear pieces. Put some LEDs under the little clear windows here and here. That would be really neat. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and get back to the main camera and I'll tell you everything I think about it, how long it took, uh, how I felt about the build and everything. So let's go ahead and get back to the main camera. Okay, so that again, I wanted to show you guys uh, it operating a little bit manually and by the motor that it has on it. Like I said, I think the motor is just too powerful. It's too fast. Now it does, if it does get hang, hung up, it just stops. It doesn't as it doesn't break anything or skip the gears or anything like that. It just stops. So you have to unplug it to make it lose the tension. And then you can kind of just work the wheel back and forth and get the marble unstuck. Usually it gets stuck in that lift heel, uh, in the lift mechanism here, which by the way, is really cool. I love the way that thing works. Very innovative uh, on that lift hill. Pretty neat how the marbles, they bounce in and out of the holes to go up. I thought that was neat. 
I love the look of this. It does have kind of that space station look to it with the clear plastic and the, the little slots and everything and the different wooden pieces. Um, I think it looks really cool. This was a super fun build. I thought it, you know, it, it's a Roker build. They just go together really well. Also, from what I can tell, I think you can connect these together with uh, some of the other Marvel runs. I believe uh, there is a way to connect them together. Uh, I would just look into that if you have one of the other Marvel mazes that they have. Now, they said that uh, I believe the build time on this is supposed to be about five and a half hours. It did take me right around five and a half hours-ish right in there. Uh, if you're doing it properly and you're sanding all the pieces and you're making sure you're waxing all the pieces, which you should be doing, if you want these things to run right, you got to build them right. So you should be sanding all the little nubs off, uh, smoothing out all the pieces that are going to be rubbing against each other uh, and uh, waxing those pieces. It tells you in the manual clearly exactly which pieces to wax and which ones to smooth out. That brings me to the manual. The manuals for Roker builds are always very clear, very good. Pictures to show you everything. Arrows to point to exactly the holes that they go into. So the manual on this is absolutely fantastic, as always. Again, I do like the fact that the um, parts page is perforated, so you can tear that out and keep it to the side so you're not constantly flipping back to that to make sure you have the right part number for like the screws and the little pins and all of that. Uh, I didn't notice that before. Maybe that's something they've always done. If not, uh, if it's new, kudos, keep doing that because uh, I like that part of it. Um, would I suggest uh, you getting this? 100% uh, man, if you like to build models, if you like these wooden kind of models, if you like marble mazes, uh, you're gonna love this model, uh, absolutely. It's a uh, a fun model to build, and it's fun to play with, fun to watch the marbles. It has a good sound. If you know anything about marble mazes, you play with marble mazes, you like a good sound. This one has a good sound to it. So far, my favorite marble maze, though, is their Chocolate Factory Marble Maze from Roker. I absolutely love that one. I love the sounds it makes, and uh, I just I can sit and play with that one all day, just watching it. It's just relaxing. Anyways, guys, I, I would probably give this a 4.5 out of 5. Uh, on Marble Mazes. It's fantastic. You're going to love it. But anyways, guys, that is my build and review of the Marble Spaceport Marble Run by Roker. There it is again, the box, the packaging. Absolutely fantastic model to build. I love it. Anyways, guys, I am out of here for now. So if you guys like these videos, make sure you give it a like and a subscribe. It helps the channel out immensely. And I'll see you next time. I'm Chewy Solo and this is black and red builds. <laughs> Woo! Now that is a whole lot of fun right there.